Shalom. Welcome to the Jewish View. My name is Rabbi Nachman Simon with the Chabad House of Dalmar, together with my co-host, Mark Rohn, at this statewide news service, jbiztechnology.com, and now columnist for the Jewish Press. Right, and I have a column called Albany Beat, and uh, we try to connect what's going on in the uh, government to the Jewish community, and, you know, we'll speak you know, I'm having fun doing that, so there's a lot going on. As long on. as you're having fun. I'm having fun. Hope the politicians and are having fun. No, they, <laughs> they're not. But anyway, <laughs> today we have a, a first-time guest with us, uh, Maggie Mancinelli Cahill. Perfect. Did I get that right? Yes, that's <laughs> okay. perfect. And she's the uh, Managing Artistic Director for Capital Rep, also known as The Rep on Pearl Street. That's right. Well, I'm so, sure she's having a lot of fun being in the right. acting business. I, I, I always have a lot of fun. Well, I'm you sure. said, I read that you wanted to go into acting, but you didn't like it, and then you went into more of the Where do you read this stuff about me? He's a news reporter, man. You've got to get the story. I got quotes. I got quotes. Am I wrong? No, that's true. Okay. Many, many years ago. Yes. I, I, um... <laughs> I, I haven't acted since I was in college. I really didn't like it because, uh, as my mother said, I enjoy telling people what to do. So uh, directing was much more suited to my personality than <laughs> acting. <laughs> and I and I leave it in your good hands for that. So and you do put on some wonderful performances over at Cap Rep. I oh, mean, thank I've been you. there several times over the years. I'm in the community here over 30 years, and I just really enjoy the. This, the, the, I, I mean, I was surprised you have, what, 300 seats? In, 300 seats, you know, yes. And, and how cozy and warm and fuzzy, and there's never a bad seat in that house there. I mean, you get the, backs, the back row, and you feel like you're still uh, in the first row of yes. any other theater. I mean, yeah. it's just amazing. So, yeah. you know, kudos. Maggie, you you know, know. Maggie, I wanted to ask, you know, what about the youth? You know, there's just so many stimulus that we know. Of course, they're watching the Jewish View on the cable TV. But besides that, being serious about it, you know, do you find that the youth are drawn to plays? You know, there's just TV and video games and internet. Yeah, but you have a whole education <laughs> right. portion. I was going to say Catholic. one of you know uh, a, a lot of people um, uh, know this, but others don't realize that when you are an arts organization. Um, uh, as big as Capital Rep, uh, that, you know, one of our most important things that we do is our education program. And we uh, have uh, uh, productions that go out into communities. I know this for a fact. We went to 99 schools this year uh, because we're sending them thank you notes. So I, I happen to know how many uh, uh, schools came to Capital Rep or, or we went out to, right? <laughs> and so we, we are writing them personally yeah. because we are so thankful for teachers who believe in the arts. But um, through those 99 schools that have participated in our programs, we've reached this year uh, approximately 13,000 students. And for us, that is really a critical part of our mission, mm -hmm. to make sure that we are doing programs for all generations. And it's really important in the arts right now that we're stimulating and exciting and inspiring young minds and hearts to participate in the arts. But so it's one, of the, it's one of our so most important things that we yeah. do. But with yeah. technology, you still have to stay ahead of the curve. And you still have to inspire you, people. You more have to be in relevant. In a different way now, mm -hmm. right? You have to be relevant mm -hmm. a different way now than mm -hmm. in 1950 or 60. Well, I you mean, know now, times you know, are different. cutting through the clutter mm -hmm. of that is te our technology right now. The the computers, the Facebook, the, Social media. the tweets, the you know right. all, all, all of that stuff that young kids are and the Instagrams, the this, the that. Figuring out how we can be a part of their world That's and right. how young people communicate is really critical. So, you know, the theater has Facebook, we do Twitter, uh, you know, uh, my younger staff, you know, does the Instagram kind of things. They just have to just show me what that is all about. But I do have a 24 year old son, and he, you know, says, Mom, he tells me what this stuff is uh -huh. so that I can be in the know. But it's really, <laughs> really critical to us mm -hmm. that we are a part of that, that we can message to young people that we are a part of the game and that we stay relevant in terms of the subjects that we do so that once they've seen something at Capital Rep, they want to come back. You know, I want to ask, you know, you say there's, well, with music also, there's the classics, there's obviously Beethoven, Mozart, mm -hmm. et cetera, and then they try to be innovative. 
So I wanted to ask you with your repertoire, I mean, are there, obviously there's classic great plays, uh, you know, mm -hmm. classics, but mm -hmm. on the other hand, you know, are you putting out new ideas and new productions that have never mm -hmm. been, or maybe never been seen, but just recently <laughs> well, developed? Well, actually, actually we do, a, we do a, a wide scope of work. And in every season that we do, we do between six and eight plays, it depends on the year. Uh, we have a deep classic, and uh, like Hamlet, we just finished Hamlet, Shakespeare's Hamlet. Oh, so was, it and, well attended? Uh, was it well attended? It was, very, it was yeah. very well attended and very well received. And I think kids were amazed when they came, actually. We had a big student matinee program for that and added a week of, to our run just so that we could handle the demand for the, our student matinees. Very nice. Um, and we also do brand new plays and we do a collaborative project with Proctors who is our big affiliate and it's called Next Act and we uh, uh, call for entries of new plays every year and I, I happen to know this too because we're in the throes of doing that. Um, we, uh, the call for entries closed this week and we have I think 350 plays that we will read and we will pick three mm. that we will give staged readings in the Can fall. Can you say we? Who's the we? Is it you're included in all um, I, I am. I read all of all uh, the submissions. You lot. know it's a lot and when somebody says what's the book on your uh, you know your the table next to your bed, yeah. I always go, well, usually it's a play. Yeah, it's, and this time of year, I can tell you it's many plays. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, 350 plays will come in and we will read them. And we have created these reading circles that are made up of um, actors who work in the community, uh, theater faculty from colleges, uh, theater administrators, and our staff. We have great staff, very knowledgeable at Capital Rep and Proctors. And we all get together in these reading circles. And then we create the top 20. And then that goes to a reading group that has some of our friends in New York City on it. And then we come up with the top three plays. Nice. And, I mean, there uh, are some, yeah. I'm sure there are some plays that you could read the first page or two and know that this, is a, this isn't going to work. I mean, there probably are. Some. You're a wise man. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, everyone it's, thinks it's their true. play is the best, but, you know, really some... There could be some schlock, and and you just know that okay. Now we don't have to go too far with this. We don't. Have you to know, go too though, far. it's. I mean, it, I'm, I, when it, you, I'm sorry. To interrupt, no, go ahead. When, go when ahead. you watch to the, these TV shows like American Idol, and you look at all the process that they have to go through before they narrow down to the yes. few that they yes. are really, you know. Yes. I mean, these these stars, these judges, you know, uh, you just shake your head that they these are multi million dollar. Uh, uh, stars, you know, and that yes. they, you know, with a net worth of multi-millions of dollars, and they're sitting there listen, watching <laughs> these right, people right. who you know aren't going to go very the... far, but they just think that this is the best, you know, act mm -hmm. that they that could yeah, win a million dollars. So. You know, talk yeah. about stars. That's why I want to ask, who, when you have put on a play and mm -hmm. you put it, well, New York, we want a, not maybe a superstar, but like you saying, a star from New York City, from Broadway, you use only local talents? I mean, uh, oh, no, as a matter of fact, 95% of the actors at Capital Rep come from New York City. We have oh. a casting director in New York, and the, the directors who direct at, at, at Capital Rep are generally uh, also from New York City. And I go to the casting calls with the directors, and, you know, I, I Try as the artistic director. I, I rarely interfere in our casting process. But for example, with The Secret Garden, which was a musical that we did um, uh, in December, that cast had more Broadway credits among its players mm -hmm. than I think any play we've done in, in, uh, in years. But our, our actors will come in and they will have many New York credits and credits from regional theaters around the country. And then we do try when, we're, we're an equity theater, which yes. means we're a union theater. And when we have filled our quota of our union actors, we, uh, we do open up parts to the community, and I have auditions a couple times a year so that we can see the local talent. One of the things that we really like to do, you talked about young people, is that we like to pave the way for a talented young person who is interested in becoming a professional actor to, we'd like to lead them on, on that path. And we have, and we've, um, we've- But there's no talented old people? 
<laughs> Art's looking for a job, man. Please, you know, man. please. Are you looking at me? I, you know, I'm not even gonna. You know, I'm, I'm know. not gonna answer that. I know that, that you're you know? leaving that alone. But you are with the League of Resident Theaters, Lord. Yes. Okay. And Lord is a bargaining uh, uh, mm -hmm. unit yeah. made up of regional theaters from across the United States. There's 73 of us in it, mm -hmm. and it includes uh, smaller theaters like Capitol Rep all the way up to Lincoln Center. So you know, we we all get get together twice a year and we mm -hmm. talk about what's going on in the theater right. and their problems and our problems. And uh, ironically, even a place like Lincoln Center or the Goodman in Chicago or LA Theater Group, these are huge theaters. Yeah. Oftentimes we all have the same issues, issues yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. which is, you know, we're trying to do what we do with not enough money and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and getting more subscribers and donors and it, you know, and kids in the door. Right. So their audiences remain um, useful as time goes on, you know, so uh, it, that's a wonderful yeah. group. So you mentioned you have a son who's 24. I do. So how's yes. Andy doing? He's, he's great, but um, my heart broke this year because he moved to Los Angeles. Oh. He graduated from Emerson College yeah, with a degree in film. He's not in theater, thank goodness. But he uh, he's out in Los Angeles, and and I hate it. <laughs> I mean, I hated I hated him being that far away from me. So you Skype. You we, learn how you know, to Skype. we 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 <laughs> Skype, but you know, we text. I mean, we text every day. You know, mm. he's he's a great kid, and I have a great relationship. And with there's him nothing and wrong with Skype. You know, learning how to Skype and seeing your son. That's right. right there, Making so. sure that he, you know, really what he looks exists. Like and how you know, he changes that's right. Because right. that LA crowd could really change your look. That's right. <laughs> you know, we that's asked right. us for to uh, so you know we have Mark and I have. Really, I think we've covered every theater in, uh, in the whole Capital District. We have directors on like yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't do Park Playhouse yet. All right, okay. we're getting there. We're getting, almost we'll get there. there. Oh, and oh, my goodness. Albany Civic a, Theater we didn't guy. do yet. You know, so. just, but it always comes out. You know, we're talking about talent, and you know, really, that's why I say the youth, because I think it's really an important part of society where oh, yeah. a lot of people just don't feel that way, you know, saying, oh, well, how are the roads, and how are the schools? Well, you know, you need extra... You know, that the culture is also, it's, it's a major part of society. Yes. But, you know, saying all that, money is also part of life. So, you know, uh, your budget, you're making it. I mean, the theater, or even I was always going to ask the theater tickets because I you know some people complain to me that theater tickets, and you can know, understand, a lot, you know, you have a film, so you're just putting it on film. Right. You know, you could go to a show, but, you know, you have many actors. Hey, each time they need to get repaid, not right. just, you right. know, you yes. went on one movie theater, you know, uh, you know made right. a movie for a month. Every night they got to be paid. So it's That's obviously right. higher expenses. But are you making it? Or? Well, you know, we, we're we close. Um, we have a budget. Let me just talk uh, straight talk for a minute. We have a budget of uh, over $2 million oh, annually. And with the way that our uh, not-for-profit is structured, 50% of our budget comes from ticket sales and 50% comes from contributive income. That's um, it's co corporate sponsorships, uh, grants um, from uh, private foundations, a little bit of government support, but that's really dried up. That that really almost doesn't well, the exist anymore. The government, the yeah. council of the arts. You know, yeah. we do, we Ever do. Ever since Kitty Carlisle Hart went away. We, just, it, the, the, the dollar there is, yeah, is Roy Goodman, small, but valuable. Roy but Goodman valuable. was the state senator from, right. a Republican from Manhattan. Right. And he would always get my Taki Lombardi from Syracuse. Huge the Republican arts also supporters. was a big, yeah. uh, you don't find those people in the legislature no. anymore who are, uh, really advocating for the arts. Well, so. the, the, um, the buzzword now for the arts is how we drive economic development. Yes, yes. And arts institutions, by and large, are catalysts for, for growth wherever they are. Mm -hmm. So for Capital Rep, if you would talk to any of the restaurants around Capital Rep, they will tell you how grateful they are that we're there. Right. I mean, we, at Capital Rep, because... Um, we are a regional theater. Uh, our, our performances, we do over 260 performances every year. Right. So we light the street up for our restaurants, mm -hmm. you know. 
I mean, in our history, we've done now almost, uh, I think, 8,000 performances since the theater was founded. In but 1981, every, we In 1981, say. Okay. yeah. But to answer your question, do we make it, really, I will be honest with you. Uh, how we make it depends on our annual fund, and our annual fund is individuals, and so when we have a good response to our annual fund, we do better. And, uh, and right now we're in the throes of you know, heating up our annual fund and making sure that, we're, that we hit that number by the end of December. But it doesn't go away. It's every year it's 50%. Our tickets, on the other hand, one of the reasons that we are so heavily supported by grants and sponsorships and our annual fund and our wonderful board of uh, trustees mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is because our ticket prices are actually only half of what they would be if we were on Broadway. So we're not a for-profit, we're a not-for-profit. So our tickets range from $20 to uh, about 55 yeah, and you fairly reasonable and for you, a live performance. Well, and when you think about it, I, I go to the movies now. A 3D movie costs about $16 on a Saturday afternoon. And I was amazed that by the time I bought my popcorn and uh, and so Coke, which right. co cost me as much as the movie <laughs> did. I, I actually spent more than someone would if they bought one of our $20 special tickets at Capitol And went Rep. to the concession and stand. And went to the concession That's stand right. for a Coke. That's right. So, you, you know, so uh, I, I think that, that sometimes I worry that people aren't going to our websites or calling us up because right. they're afraid that the ticket yeah, prices that's are that's expensive, you know? People, well, they probably went to Broadway. Oh Broadway. yes, and they're very so, yeah. Those, so they think, oh, a play. I can't go to a play. I can't Plays afford it. Expensive. Yeah, right, right. How just, much is there a cooperation right. where you advertise in, let's say, Proctor's uh, playbill and Spac's playbill, and you know, other? I mean, do you go out there and put ads in other uh, arts? Art houses, you know, playbills, mm -hmm. or is that mm -hmm. verboten because it's... No, no, no. I mean, you know, I mean, really... it seems the, like you're a family of the, arts. The, the thing that we all know is that once somebody goes to any of us, they're likelier to say, well, what else is there? That was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. So we all work together. We have an agreement, for example, with all the summer theaters, and there's lots of wonderful summer theaters in the capital region. I mean, really, we are well, we have theater. an embarrassment of riches in yeah, the yeah, summer. Yeah, we it's do. Uh, we do. incredible. And we all work together and uh, share ads in the summer. So you'll look at a playbill from Barrington Stage or oh, Berkshire Theater Group yeah, yeah. or, uh, or you know, and you'll see um, a a placement for other theaters and you know you'll you'll see us in probably 90 percent of those okay so good. that we work together I'm just to curious make sure yeah. that that yeah, happens yeah because yeah. that's the one way of getting out the word that your ticket prices are between 20 and 55. we really try to get that message out and like there, i said you know? the 20 dollar tickets being that it's such a cozy theater right and that won't say small oh, but it's a cozy theater seats. the 20 dollar seats are terrific right. i mean right yeah. and students tickets to to answer you if if you don't come to a student matinee with your school. A student, and that's any student, a student of life. I mean, if you know, if you were sixty, yeah. whatever years old, and you were a student, you could get a student ticket from us for sixteen dollars any show okay. all season. So just we show really AARP, try to make it just show the accessible. AARP card and uh, you'll get the <laughs> We don't have that. <laughs> you, know, but you have to show your student ID. <laughs> okay, I wanted to. Uh, well, I wanted to ask you about this uh, STEM, uh, science, technology, Yes. what's the E, and then math, but I forgot what the E was, environment? It's not economics. Edu economics? Uh, no, it e might education? be economics. Um, I don't know. So you have the STEM, but I've yeah, heard... Yeah, we like it, yes. I've heard that there's STEAM, yes. that it should be STEAM, but add the arts in there. Yes. Uh, any movement you, on that? Or? You know... I all of the arts think that. I, I like to talk about that because of, for just a second, because science, I think, is, is really critical. And we know that math is critical. And we know that, you know, uh, these are really important uh, subjects so that we can problem solve for the future. But the th reason that the arts think that it should be STEAM is because when you apply yourself in the arts, two things happen. One, you work in teams, and the unit of work in the future 
it's all teams. If you talk to anybody who works at Apple or any of the, the research laboratories around, they all work in units. And that team experience, you can get in the arts better than, than anything that, mm -hmm. that we know of. And secondly, you gain critical thinking skills. Yes, and critical do. thinking skills are when you, you read a fact and you read a fact and you put them together mm -hmm. and you make sense of that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you do that by, um, that's right, there's a, that's right, you're sh he's showing me that there's team in steam. In steam. <laughs> so uh, I know white you. doesn't come out on I the didn't camera want to as well. But you. <laughs> I think, <Okay. laughs> and, and that's right. So the teamwork aspect of the arts, um, when, when we take kids into our summer programs, for example, we have some great summer programs coming up. We're not looking for kids who necessarily are going to end up being professional actors, but the team experience of having a group of very smart people in a room that are all trying to go for one goal in a short amount of time, they all are striving for that one thing and they all respect each other because they have to collaborate because that's how it works in the arts. Um, we have been told over and over and over again how important that is to the critical thinking skills of, of young people. So it's, I think it's really important that we don't forget that well, the, the arts, English, putting mm -hmm. words together is important. I, I just, that's why I sound very, you know, of course, I like the Judaic subject, but like you say, you have to be a whole person. And it seems yeah. like the school system, yeah, math, two plus two equals four, you know, you get yeah. the, well, they're not computers. People aren't computers. And, uh, you know, the first thing they always cut is sports and arts. Mm -hmm. That's like you say, oh, they don't have money for it. Well, they have money for everything else. Mm -hmm. You know, and it just, they just think, no, nah, so, so you play baseball. Oh, so some you make a play. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, I, I see because I one of my ten jobs, I do teach children and it is. It's just that working together. And I just sports. Well, mm -hmm. you're a rabbi in sports. Yeah, you know, it just shows. Just that is an mm -hmm. important thing that you can't learn from a book. Like exactly what you were saying, that's tipped off my mind, that working with someone, it's not just you and reading a book. You go to a library, you sit in a cubicle and read a book. Hey, there's other people mm -hmm. around. And, mm -hmm. you know, you work with other people. or Use your imagination. Use your other skills. And it just seems that's what I say in society. It just seems, well... You know, they're making computers out of people. People are people, and they're, they're wholly faceted. Yeah, you surely use your intellect, but, you know, you just interact mm -hmm. with other people. You see, they look at their computers, they're at their <laughs> Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, there's other people, and talk with them, and dialogue, which you get, I know, in acting. I did take acting lessons when I was a kid, you should know. Did you? Yeah, in Chicago. Every, every and, rabbi needs to. <laughs> how, how about singing lessons? Did you take singing lessons? Well, I should, but I do sing. <laughs> no, actually, I was, his, uh, I his was children, in my choir. I, I mean, his children have beautiful voices. Really? I was in the choir in my synagogue, so the cantor gave me some, t you know, I wouldn't say singing yeah. lessons, but, you know, tips, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. But, you know, music, yeah. uh, and music, uh, we all know uh, in the, when we deal in education that music is very related to physics. People who tend to be good in, in music tend to be good in physics, sometimes mathematics. And, you know, these, these are all related. Our brains are complicated. You know, one thing I wanted to say is that one thing I've always enjoyed about the Judaic tradition is there's real value on words and thinking and interpreting. And these are not, uh, they, they don't come naturally to some people. They have to be studied and appreciated and supported. And when someone is interested in the word, how, what it is in the paper, what it means, what it meant then, what it means now, there's a whole skill base that it takes to be able to do that kind of a work. And you're not necessarily going to get that by just tweeting. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might, you know, but if you get people together to talk, to respect the word, in the theater, the word is, is Paramount. the law. Paramount. You know, yeah, um, absolutely. we can't change words that playwrights write. We're really bound by it. There's, you know, there's, and yet we have to interpret it. And so this person will interpret it this way, this person right. will interpret it that way. And all of those kinds of things that, that then help us in life. And I think, you know, I, I mean, somebody said to me, what, what's your goal? And I said, oh, uh, world peace. Uh, and, and, you know, they went, no, no, really. And I said, no, really, really world peace. 
creating people who think, who care, who understand humanity. Right. These are the things that I think are important in my role as an artistic director in terms of the work that we put out there on our stage, that we create a community setting, that we encourage people to talk with one another in a respectful, collaborative way. These mm -hmm. are, really matter to me. So I, I, you know, I look for the things that bind us together, not Separate, take us apart. Right. One mm -hmm. thing I wanted to mention about getting back to STEAM and STEM and all yeah. that, is that when you know people don't realize how much the backroom work goes into it and building a set, and oh, you you know right. and, and all that. I mean, you really need to know uh, the math and and how to uh, build. You know how to cut wood and have to be so precise that it's you know just right so it doesn't fall apart on stage. <laughs> and, That's right. You know so right. you you know that stem. I mean everything goes into, when you build a set, every one of the STEM goes into... That's correct. Uh, yeah. Goes into, when That's you do a set and you go into, uh, sell, you know, figuring out how to sell tickets and figuring out how to fundraise and figuring out all the aspects that people, you know, that get people into the seats but right. people don't see. That's correct. And, um, and even, you know, the microphones mm -hmm. and the, and how loud and oh, the yeah, sound... Oh yeah, the sound design. And sound mm -hmm. design, I mean, it's all critical and it's all part of STEM. Mm -hmm. And it's and that's interesting. So that's why I think it should be steam, because the arts really oh, connect good. all of that. That's good. Yeah, you know, our set designers. When you look at their plans, they really look like um, plans that you would see from an architect building a house. Um, they're construction drawings. Mm -hmm. They identify the materials. You know, there's all the measurements. There's all the geometry. There's all of that. Uh, that goes into the work that a set designer and then our construction houses do. The same thing is true of sound. I think of all of the things that have changed the most radically is probably sound. Yep. Because now you can get on a computer and figure out where the sound is going to bounce in the room and this and that. And it it all goes into the sound design and where you point the, the speakers. Right. And then there's a whole other world of design, which is um, uh, projections mm -hmm. and lighting design. Um, lighting design. Mm -hmm. And this is all changed dramatically. Um, because of all of the technology that mm -hmm. we now have. It's now amazing. you don't even need a band. You can, you know, I mean, you can have pre-recorded music that will be on a, a CD and you will still be in time with what's going on on stage. Yes. Will it be just the same quality though? Yes. We, we have not used uh, uh, recorded bands. Our, our bands are live, um, but like sound effects are, are recorded and those kind of things, things that you just kind of yeah. take for granted, right. you know, all of the ambient sounds, some of the, sometimes uh, a character in a drama has to sing and those, those yeah. that music behind that person might be recorded. You right? know what I want to get, getting back to fundraising, because that's critical, like you were saying, have you ever tried to go on these GoFundMe sites or the you know, fundraising sites. Like the Kickstarter, Kickstarter kind of things. And see what you could do in terms of a, a new addition to Cap Rep to get money and to have people from around the world contribute. You know, I don't think that we have done that yet. Well, I, I know that my son got me to contribute to a Kickstarter on a project he was working on. You see? Um, but I think that a lot of nonprofits are doing things uh, with having auctions online now and all, all kind of things. People are innovative. Well, when, that's what you have to learn. You have, that's, to, you have to learn you have how to do, do that, that right? right? Yeah, I'm behind the times on that. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying that's you know? something, maybe a new idea that uh -huh. some of your younger <clears throat> folk <laughs> could really uh, <laughs> no, could really help you with. That's right. You know, and, and I always say if you want someone to build a website for you, get it, someone who's under 15. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? And they just do it automatically. They do it. They know how to you do know, it. Like, I know. You know, like you and I knew how to run an abacus, you know. They, knew how, <laughs> they know how to do that. So. All right, Mark, you know, Maggie, we're Please out of time. Please don't give away all no, my secrets, no, okay. Mark. <laughs> Maggie, we're out of time, but it was really uh, enjoyable talking to you. And it's like I say, you both so you're much. doing a lot of good work with the arts, and you. I think that's critical and not just luxury. That's what I was trying to bring out. It's critical for a society to have a the city, and we have a lot of wealth in the Capital District, and you're one of them, so continue success in your work. Yes. Thank you. Much Thank success. you, Rabbi. Thank it's you, wonderful. Mark.